like everyone else. Because only that which is burned or scratched into your flesh comes with you to the afterlife. <laughs> I bet my ex-wife will be there waiting for me in the afterlife. The bitch is crazy. Hey, can you put a hex on my ex-wife? Like some kind of spooky voodoo or something? I do dabble in the dark arts and magic. I ain't talking about magic like pulling a rabbit out of your ass or pulling quarters out of your ears. I'm talking voodoo. You know, dance around with a chicken voodoo. That bitch was a grass. Why does everyone assume that just because we're goths, we're weird? I don't know. The hood, cane, black fingernail polish may have something to do with it. When is the last time you seen the sun? It's been over 18 years since I was out in open sunlight. I only leave the house if it's raining or if I need milk. Exactly. Listen, I was just like you at one time, except I didn't wear makeup. That would get you a firm beating where I grew up. I'm happy to give you a sample of my course, Learn, Start Doing. I promise you'll run out and buy some colored clothing and listen to some music other than people groaning on and on for half an hour about how much it rains in Manchester. Life is what you make of it. Look at me. I got a condo, a hot tub, a lot of girls. Listen, you're really bringing me down, which is hard to do. I've been to the other side many times. Sometimes I barely come back. It's all about astral projection. Like right now, I'm projecting myself into the women's bathroom at the fairgrounds. Hey, that's a good trick. Maybe you and I should go into business together. Oi, look, I've had enough of this love fest. You, you're a motivational gunman. And you, you are a maniacally depressed loony with anemia. You guys should hate each other. Did you say love fist? Those guys are so super. Listen, I just wrote another poem. If I had a flower for every time I think of you, I'd walk forever in a garden. And I just wrote a poem too. Shut up, you weird pathetic people. This is my show, Maurice Chavez. Capiche? Comprende? We're not here to recite poetry or sell motivation tapes or talk to dead people. We're here to press the issue. Anyway, let's take a break. We'll be right back after this important information from Vice City Public Radio. That's pressing issues here on VCPR, Vice City Public Radio. If you haven't given money to VCPR and you're listening to the station, you are a thief. That's right, Michelle. You might as well throw a brick through the window and loot the place. How selfish you people are. This is public radio, serving the public with everything that is important, like me. So come on, keep us on air. It's really important. Send us your money. I'm going to say this over and over until you do. Yes, Michelle is known for her begathon tantrums. She cares about this station, unlike you. Think of how much money you spend on drive through fast food and commemorative plates. Take that money right now and send it. Direct to me, Jonathan Freeloader, Starfish Island, Vice City. Now, back to the show. With Maurice Chavez, the asshole. You're correct. He is an asshole. I'm Maurice Chavez. Welcome back. I used to be a performance clown. Now I'm running a debate show. Funny how things turn out, eh? (laughs) Or is it? That's the question, you see. If we look upon life as a positive experience, do we make it any better? That's what we're discussing right now here on Pressing Issues. Free radio with free ideas. Just keep those donations pouring in. Don't sell out to corporations. We all need a voice. Really, we do. And today, right now, we're giving a voice to three very different people discussing positive thinking. A healthy mental attitude. We've got a goth depressive. We've got a very happy orphan. (laughs) And we've got a motivational speaker with a number of systems. So let's start with you, Constantinos, you strange, creepy creature of darkness. Have you got a positive mental attitude? I like to think so. Oh, really? Misery and suffering, it's everywhere, man. And I actively want a fatal disease. What bad can possibly happen to me? You could win the lottery. The lottery? That's for people with hope. I don't enter the lottery. You could. Damn, you you two, help me here. I think he's great. I think he's really sweet. I love your hair. It reminds me of a big shaggy dog with long, greasy, straight hair. You know, Chavez, this weird goth guy, he's got a point. I mean, in many ways, what he's talking about is covered in my three-step program, Tape 17. Motivate, demonstrate, then motivate again, part nine. Facing home truths. You see, we all have to face up to a few home truths. I'll never be prom queen. Jenny will never have her parents. (laughs) You'll never make it in the entertainment business. It's about realistic goals. I can change your life. Uh, uh, Just a second, robot. What isn't covered in your three-step program? What don't you talk about in your library of Congress-sized tape cassette library? Whatever we talk about, grief, goths, depression, changing lives. Who are you? What have you done that's so great? You wear a cheap suit. Your hair is stuck rigid with spray. Your breath stinks of whiskey. Uh, you, You look like you sell drugs to people. You're a joke, buddy. A bad joke. Oh, now this is getting personal. 
I come on your cheap ass show. I spare my valuable time. I cancel several important speaking engagements. I talk to thousands of VIPs in order to spread a message of hope. And this is how I get treated. I get insulted by a man with dandruff. I get slandered by a guy who couldn't amuse a birthday party of nine-year-olds. I get attacked by a guy who works on a volunteer radio. This is not volunteer radio. I earn a salary. How much? How much do you earn, Chavez, big man, tough guy with a microphone and a cheap jacket, and a look that says my highest hope in life is to work in a bookstore? I'm a go-getter. You're a cheapskate. You're a fraud with nothing to tell people and no way of helping people. Excellent. I'm really loving this. I hope one of them gets killed. Shut up, dork. All the bunnies are stabbing each other. Shut up. I have a condo. I have a hot tub. I vacation in Aruba. Vacation is not a verb, moron. Yes, it is, because I'm a VIP. I'm very important. And I'm a teacher, a wise man, not an opinionated dolt, a naysayer sitting on the side of life criticizing others while all he can do is get a crappy gig down at a moron station. A man who lives with his mother. I'm between apartments. And I'm between mansions, Buster, from helping people. Do you know how good it feels to be me? Do you have any idea, any idea at all, how great it feels to wake up and realize you're a rich and talented, important person and in a waterbed with mirrors on the ceiling and more girls than you can imagine? And every time I step outside the door, I can choose which car to drive. If I choose to drive, I have five chauffeurs. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Sweep it under the carpet. That's my motto. <laughs> if I can't see it, it's not there. <laughs> Look, I hate to burst your bubble here, but I know you live in a very small apartment overlooking the gasworks. You ain't a big shot. You ain't even a medium shot. You're an asshole, a creepy jailbird who doesn't know I, the first... I have a message. I can save lives. I'm a savior, my friend. I have a gift for communication, and this is how I get treated. I get insulted, I get paired with a pair of retards, a guy who's afraid of the sun, and a girl dosed up to the eyeballs on antidepressants. Sweetheart, I can get you something much better. These pills are very strong today. Maybe I took too much accidentally. Oh, well. <laughs> this chick is out of her mind. I thought I was going to get to help people on the radio, to demonstrate my program, to help you. You, Chavez. Those people on the phone said you were a desperate lonely man on the edge. Leave! Leave right now! Get out of my studio. Go get your own radio show. Go save some other people. Hey, I'm not leaving till I have the opportunity to save people and sell some tapes. You can call right now and send in the money order. Soon you can have a luxury condo and a waterbed and a suit made in Singapore based on the latest Italian style. Enough! Enough now! Shut up! Hey, vampire boy, I'll give you 20 bucks if you can put a hex on Chavez. Dark forces, <laughs> I summon you to me. Banish these weaklings and mental inferior ones from my presence. Shut up! No, you little snotty nose prick. What? Your shoes got lifts, bust, I can tell. Hey, lift! This hairspray! Oh, my no! Daddy, stop bleeding! This costs a lot of money. I'll sue you into jail, asshole. Stop fighting, please! I hate it when we fight. Can't we have a group hug? Hit me, man. I like it. Oh, my damn no. Oh, stop crying, uh -huh. baby boy. Uh -huh. Who are you going to tell, huh? Where's your three-step program now? You think I'm a little wimp now? You want to be rude about pressing issues now, eh? You think you're a tough guy from the gutter now, eh, my friend? You think you can screw with me, with Maurice Chavez? What you thinking, asshole? Uh, I'm sorry. Please don't hit me again. I, I love your show. Eh. Yeah. I think I understand this positive thinking. And that was pressing issues. I think we covered a lot of ground. We learned all about how to press the issue. And remember, if at first you don't get hurt, hit the guy very hard in the face with a paperweight. It just worked for me. And I feel like a million dollars. Let's tell you a little bit more about exactly how public radio is financed and quality programs like Pressing Issues come on the air. Don't go away. That was Pressing Issues, and this is Vice City Public Radio. We hope you're enjoying the show as much as you're about to enjoy listening to me and Jonathan Freeloader. Hello, everybody. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Heartbroken, Michelle. Why, Jonathan? Why? Well, because it seems people just don't care anymore. I mean, where are people's priorities? We have campaigned tirelessly for public radio for literally months now, and the station is still in trouble. But a man with a hygiene problem puts on a pop concert, and suddenly everyone has money to hand over to starving kids they've never even met. I think it's a disgrace. Yes, people are very shallow. Like you? Exactly like me. But radio is much more important than food. I have a good mind not to let them go back into pressing issues this time. You have to give us some money. It is a... 
It is, it's a disaster. That's what it is. What's wrong with you people? Please. We're struggling to pay for our second homes here. And I've only had three vacations this year. You poor, poor man. Let's get on with the show. Remember, call now. Please. We need your money. Urgently. Thanks, guys. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pressing Issues on VCPR. That's Vice City Public Radio. Radio which gives the public exactly what they want. High-quality educational programming about serious topics and the consistent reminder that the world is going to hell in a handbasket if you don't give us money. Remember, Vice City Public Radio is commercial-free because it is funded entirely by donations from our listeners and corporate sponsors. So if you're enjoying the show, why not make a contribution? I'm Maurice Chavez, and this is Pressing Issues. Pressing Issues is a roundtable discussion group in which we ask self-important people exactly what they think about things, and then they argue amongst themselves for a bit, before leaving with views more extreme than when they came in. <laughs> Only joking, ladies and gentlemen. This is a show founded on the ancient Greek principle of enlightened debate and the American principle of free speech. Or is that the ancient Greek principle of feeding wise men hemlock and the American principle of being annoyed and loud so nobody can get a word in? I forget. Only time will tell. Now, the subject we are discussing right now and pressing issues with me, Maurice Chavez, for your enlightenment and enjoyment is a very serious one. Public safety. In case you haven't noticed, Vice City is not a very safe place. These are troubled times. We are a troubled people. Some would say we are a people at war with ourselves. Others would say we are at war with reality. Those who live in other countries and strive to own our fast food restaurants and quickie marts would say we are a bloodthirsty bunch of crazies who let children buy guns from the supermarkets. Another opinion is that it is the fault of society that, as Plato said, people don't mean to kill each other. It happens because they are poor or desperate or really thirsty or in need of a vacation or something. Another view is that we are all a little confused and really should stay at home, lock the doors and forget about everything as quickly as possible. So... Let's press the issue, eh? Sitting on our panel right now, we have three divergent opinions. Three separate islands of insanity in a rolling sea of stupidity. Three wise men following very different stars. To my right, <laughs> to everyone's right in fact, we have Congressman Alex Shrub, the youngest state congressman ever to be elected by Vice City, and now a respected man in the Capitol. Mr. Shrub got elected because he has great hair and says things that make you nod your head. His campaign appealed to the wealthy because he set all of us at ease by finally confirming it's okay to be rich as long as you say you care about the children. Mr. Shrub, welcome. That's not entirely true, Maurice. My campaign also appealed to the poor, who are too stupid to understand what I'm saying, so I held up pretty pictures and I gave out candy bars to appeal to their most base instincts. Thanks, Maurice. I'm glad to be given this opportunity to set the record straight. I haven't given you any opportunity yet, my heartless friend. Let me introduce my other guest first. I hope this isn't going to get personal. I love Vice City more than anyone, and I can prove it. Yes, that's coming from the man who got elected by calling his opponent a buffalo butt and a fat hen-pecked wimp that couldn't fight his way out of a wet paper bag. Anyway, our next guest is from the opposite end of the political spectrum, a man so wet he looks like he just stepped out of the shower. Peace Corps activist, hippie concert taper, founder of the group Speaking for the Underdog. He is fluent in seven languages and studied the harp in Peru, Callum Crashaw. Hi, Maurice. Hola. Buenos dias and noches. Bonjour and buongiorno. Welcome in. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey, <laughs> let's stick to English. Most of us struggle enough with that. Welcome to Pressing Issues. And lastly, we have a man with a novel solution to the problems of public safety in Vice City. A solution so stupid, I cannot bring myself to explain it for him. Yet, like breakdancing, it is sadly catching on. A man who appears on this fine show because our previous know-it-all panelist was carjacked and is now at home arming himself to the teeth. I give you John F. Hickory. How y'all doing? Indeed. So, before we get started, gentlemen... Let me remind you of the rules of engagement. Here on Pressing Issues, the number one rated show on public radio in the Vice City area and hosted by me, Maurice Chavez, Pressing Issues is about free speech, not feeding each other hemlock, literally or metaphorically. Hey, my daddy used to grow that stuff in the backwoods of Missouri. Hoo-wee, I tell you what. Yes, thank you. I expect you to listen to each other, and I will only step in where necessary so people on the air don't forget what my voice sounds like. <laughs> so, I want a clean fight. Nothing below the belt or in the chops, 
And remember Maurice's motto, which a very wise man, my father, once told me. If you listen, one day you might be hurt, and when in doubt, use the smell test. That's so important, I think, don't you? So, Congressman, let's start with you. Crime is up. People are scared to walk the streets. Nobody is taking public transportation. Police morale is at an all-time low. Everyone is killing and maiming and giving each other the...